Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today we will discuss about why do CKD patients suffer from a decrease in hemoglobin level and weakness. When patients come to me with question like my creatinine level is increasing every day and my doctor has suggested dialysis but I do not experience any symptom. In that case, I always take the time to explain their condition in simple terms and start by asking how they are feeling. If they express tiredness or weakness, I kindly explain why that might be the cause. It is important to understand that when the kidney starts to deteriorate, whether due to high blood pressure or diabetes, polycystic kidney disease or any other reason, it can lead to a significant problem. One of the effects of kidney damage is a decrease in the amount of hemoglobin in the body. Despite eating well and taking vitamin, multivitamin, folic acid and ferrous sulfate, our blood is still not being made. In this video, we will find a solution to this problem. The first thing you need to understand here is how the kidney helps the body to produce blood. As we all know what kidney does, it cleans the blood, removes waste material, maintains water and maintains salt, electrolytes in the body. But also the kidney does many other things besides like making blood and releasing a hormone called erythropoietin. As the damage to the kidney progresses, the level of creatinine and urea increases. Additionally, the ability to produce erythropoietin, the hormone which is responsible for creating blood in the body, starts to decline. This means that your body is producing less erythropoietin that is required by the body. Without the proper binding of erythropoietin with B12, folic acid, iron and protein, the essential process of hemoglobin production is hindered. So it is imperative to ensure these components are working in tandem to support the production of vital protein. As I told you, you lack hemoglobin because you lack erythropoietin. Now the question arises, what can we do to help the increase the production of erythropoietin? So let me tell you, there is only one way to boost it and that is erythropoietin has to be given from the outside. It is actually pretty easy to buy erythropoietin injections from the market. If we need them, it, it can help to boost the production of RBC, red blood cell or you can say hemoglobin in the body. So if you need to increase the production of hemoglobin, administrating these erythropoietin injection can be effective solution. However, it's important to remember that improving your diet is key to maintain good health. It's really important to make sure that you are doing everything to increase your hemoglobin level. If we don't then you might start feeling symptoms like feeling out of breath, getting nervous and feeling tired quickly. So let make sure you are doing everything you need to do to stay healthy and feel great. Here is the end of today's topic. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us. Take care and see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.